Creepers. What's up, Creepers? How the heck are you guys? It's Clearski. I'm back. That's right. I'm creeping to a different part of town today, which I don't normally creep to. I'm in North Portland, and I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to find some art. And if you guys know me and you've watched previous vlogs, you guys know how much I love Portland artists, anything that's tied into Portland. And there is a gentleman with some really cool pieces from Oregon named Pete Heisler, Helsler, I believe I'm pronouncing it right. Um, and some of his pieces are just right up the block here. So we're gonna go check this out. And Pete is a Portland native um, and most of his sculptures are in Eugene, Oregon. Um, but one of his famous pieces, the alligator and the otter rests right up here. But first I thought we'd creep around a bit and show you guys some other interesting things here in Portland and one would be this guy just chilling and I'm not sure if this is a dead end <laughs> but this guy sure is uh, tuckered out from driving it looks like but let's creep right up here to Arbor Lodge in North Portland it is an absolutely beautiful day and there's a lot of people out and about walking their dogs, playing tennis, and just genuinely soaking in the Portland sunshine, which is kind of a rarity lately. <laughs> so everybody here is taking advantage. So there is a piece right up the street here that I wanted to show you guys that was installed here in Portland in 1996 and is one of many pieces by Pete Heisler, Helsler, gosh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm sorry, um, but he is most famous for his Ken Kesey piece that resides in Eugene, but his artwork and stuff is very distinct, um, almost mimicking other cartoonists slash artists like Will Vinton and the guy that created the California Raisins and the Domino's Noid, which is from here, which he is from here in Portland as well. But today we're going to focus our vlog on Pete's work, which I find really cool. And the reason why is not only is he from here, but like I said, a lot of his pieces are kind of cartoony and they really stand out. Now scattered throughout this park, are many of sculptures by Pete, uh, but there's two in here in particular that I really wanted to show you guys, which I thought were really cool because they really kind of show his iconic style of work. And um, like I said, you guys can go to the description and I will definitely leave a link to more of Pete's work in that as well. So you're definitely gonna wanna check those out because not only are they really awesome and intricately detailed, but a lot of them are really fun and like cartoony style. So I was gonna creep up here, but I wanna show you guys this mural up here as well. Um, I've been through the park once before and missed a lot of things. So I'm kind of redoing the vlog so that you guys can see some of the really cool things that I'm able to see and Portland's got so many great artists um, but first we're gonna check out this mural right here behind this elementary school in North Portland which if you guys can see is super awesome and I'll definitely get a better shot here zoom in on it and so this is right behind one of the middle schools located directly across from the park and I definitely wanted to get this on the blog just because of how incredibly awesome that is. Treat all men alike, give them the same law, give them an even chance to live and grow. Chief Joseph, really cool. But that's not exactly one that I wanted to show you guys. What I wanted to show you guys was Pete's work. So we're just gonna cross the street here and go and check it out. And it looks like it's pretty nice out, so we picked a great time to creep up here, if you will. And now 
would be the time to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you guys haven't already done that. You can do me one better. You can even hit that little bell icon. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to know. But we're going to pan right over here and check out Pete's, one of Pete's favorite, my favorite pieces, one of his more favorite, famous pieces is the alligator and the otter. <laughs> so it looks like the alligator and the otter are just chilling here and Pete's work is tremendous and it's so detailed and just the iconic style of cartooning like I said you can always tell with the eyes and the intricacy of the scales of the crocodile or the alligator if you will and it looks like he's even got his flippers on fresh from the water but if you guys pan right back behind here check this out we've got the otter <laughs> and he is just chilling on the alligator's back and at one point this whole structure was an actual like a swimming pool uh, slash water fountain um, but over the years since 96 when this was installed um, a lot has changed but this park is absolutely gorgeous if you guys can see and Pete actually has his pieces scattered all throughout the park here including these sea turtles turtle turtle <laughs> and these little creations in the sandbox as well. All along here, Pete's work can be found if you guys look really carefully. You can see that he's even created some of his little turtles and starfish hidden among the rocks. And there's even a little placard over here to honor his work with a little baby turtle and a starfish chilling. So it looks like there's 21 bronze sculptures in total. And this is actually Harper's Playground located directly inside of Tabor Park. And all designs and made by Pete Hauser himself are intended to both be beautiful and interactive. Sea turtles who have great difficulty in navigating on land are able to fly in the open water, serve as a symbol of ability of all people to succeed in the right environment, and the idea reflects the goal of this playground. The sea life here serves as a complement to the alligator and otter sculpture, which we just showed you guys one of my favorite pieces and like I said I'll definitely leave a link to his work in the description so that you guys can check out that Ken Kesey piece located in Eugene as well. A lot more of his pieces are in Eugene, in Eugene Oregon uh, but another one of my favorite little guys here and if you guys seen my uh, vlog that I did not too long ago in Southeast Portland the little bronze statue art pieces and it looks like Pete's little turtle here mimics actually I think those mimic this because in fact this was in 96 and I'm not sure exactly when this was created but I'm guessing probably around the same time but if you guys can see the kind of Will Vinton is style on the eyeballs <laughs> and his hands are just chilling so yeah what a beautiful park and a beautiful day in Portland and I appreciate you guys creeping through today and now would be the time to send over another creeper slash subscriber and go ahead and enter you guys into the 900th creeper t-shirt contest and so you guys can do that now and it basically will end whenever the 900th creeper is on the roster and then I'll go ahead and do the drawing so you guys are going to want to stay tuned for that but one more time for one of my favorite pieces by Pete the alligator and the otter next time I might bring Billy down under with me this looks like a job for Billy down under <laughs> So I appreciate you guys tuning in as usual. I love you guys.
Make sure you guys leave in the comment section what your favorite sculpture was that you saw. And like I said, there's many more. So if you guys are in the neighborhood, come on down and check it out. It is a beautiful park. And it's got great art all around. But definitely go over to Pete's website and I will leave that in the description and check out more of his work. And with that being said, Creeper out for now. Peace, love you guys.